Horses are parading for race number eight, second elimination for three-year-olds. Again, three automatically qualify for the final, that being, of course, the front three. Number one, Mr. Dream Man, owned by Mystical Marker Farms by Jack and Peggy Hood of Illinois and Indiana. Dirk Simpson trains Dave McGee drives. Two is Snappy Donut, owned by Jim and Donna Murphy of Crestwood, Kentucky. Jim Murphy trains, will drive. Three jam box unbeaten this season, nine for nine, owned by Newton, Illinois' Merrill Brown. Kathy Finn trains, Randall Finn is in the bike. Four Red Source, also from Newton, owned there by Dane and Renee May. Dane May, the trainer and driver. Five, I Was a Bottle Baby, owned by Gene Prather of Huntsville. Rick Prather drives and trains. Six, Fester the Pester, owned by Jay DeLong, Clinton, Wisconsin. He trains Tom Bussey up. And number seven, Heather Paul, owned by Chancey Akers, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Terry King of Maywood, Terry King trains Dwight Banks behind Heather Paul. I was a bottle baby weaving and bobbing behind that tier, now finding his spot in five. Gate picking up speed, and here they come. They're off and trotting, jam box between horses first away, outside him, I was a bottle baby, gets away quickly on the rail, Mr. Dream Man will be out third, fourth on the outside, Fester the Pester as that field drives toward the turn. Getting out five as they race that way now is Snappy Donut, dropped in, Red Source is six, at the back, Heather Paul, field around the turn, and on the outside, racing up to take command, I was a bottle baby, and Nick Prather, jam box will get a trip second, the undefeated three-year-old sits behind the leader as they race to the quarter, third behind him, Mr. Dream Man, fourth on the inside, Fester the Pester. They've just raced past the quarter, 28-3. They head now down the back stretch, and they're being led by the Armbro Charger. Three-year-old I was a bottle baby. Nick Prather controls the tempo. He heads them toward the half, content to wait second with no one behind him coming as Jambox. He's waiting for the challenge, racing now down the backside third as they approach the half-mile juncture as Mr. Dream Man, fourth behind him, Fester the Pester. Trotting five is Snappy Donut, racing six, still red source, no chance. Heather Paul at the back, field past the half, and leading past that juncture, I was a bottle baby, 58-3, getting a trip, Jam Box is second, racing behind him, Mr. Dream Man and McGee are third, as they're past the draw gate, easing toward the three-quarter, and I was a bottle baby, not been tested yet, Jam Box content to wait still, racing third, Mr. Dream Man, four anxious now, is Fester the Pester, here comes Jam Box to the outside, as I race toward the three-quarter, inside, I was a bottle baby, here comes Jam Box, with authority on the outside. He looks for win number 10 and start number 10. And Finn has him on top. They're at the three-quarter, 128-4. Top of the lane, they turn for home. Mr. Dream Man will soon be testing Jambox. Looking for win number 10, Jambox. Now by four. Now in the lane. Far outside. Here comes Heather Paul. Jambox under drive. Heather Paul at him. Jambox, Heather Paul to the wire. Jambox, Heather Paul. Jambox, Heather Paul. Jambox, maybe. Photo. Home third was Mr. Dream Man, four, Red Source, five, Fester the Pester, six, unofficially, I was a bottle baby, seven, was Snappy Donut, it may be ten in a row, it's very, very close, Heather Paul, the big rush on the outside, might have reached 158-1, only the photo will tell. Before this trotter leaves the racetrack, today he did not win number ten, but it takes a lot of courage when you're 94 years old to buy a racehorse, and we're thrilled that Merrill Brown was able to see his colt come within an eyelash of winning an elimination of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes. Down here to our left, Merrill Brown from Newton, Illinois. Stand up and be recognized, Merrill, 94 years old. He's been a great owner for a long time. There's Merrill Brown in the red hat. Merrill, good day, almost. Result of the photo shows the winner of that race with that late rush. To be another very good three-year-old trotter, last year he was one of the leading two-year-olds in the state, ran into some late-season problems, emerging now in 58-1 as certainly a contender for honors here next Thursday. On by Chansey Akers of Kenosha, Wisconsin, by Terry King, his trainer of Maywood, Illinois, driven by Dwight Banks, big rush down the lane, there he is, Heather Paul Dwight Banks. And now down to uh, Kurt Becker, who's going to talk to Dwight Banks, who had that measured about right, huh, Kurt? 
Yeah, we're going to try to grab Dwight Banks here in just a moment. I think uh, Terry King will be kind enough to take that trotter on back. We'll talk to Dwight. Come on up here, Dwight. Now, I tell you what, we've been talking all week about how Jambox, the horse you just beat, was kind of the sentimental favorite owned by 94-year-old Merrill Brown. But when you were coming down that home stretch, you looked pretty determined to get up there and beat him. How about the race? Well, I, I got away slow like this horse usually does. And uh, it, the head of the stretch, it looked like there was an awful lot of ground to gain up. But this horse is real good that last quarter if he stays trotting. But uh, that's been a question mark more often than not this year. But today he decided to behave himself. Well, let's ask you about that. He made a break in his last start at the county fair at Mount Sterling, got beat a dozen lengths. If you had to put your finger on one thing that made the difference today, what would it be? Well, uh, probably the main things, we, we experimented and put some trotting hobbles on him, and it seems to steady him just a little bit more. And uh, uh, this horse, uh, he's been good all year, except like in the last quarter and gets about the seven-eighths, then he falls apart on us, and it seemed like it steadied him a little bit more the last end of it. Well, keeping a trotter steady and keeping balance is very important, and the trotting hobbles can go a long way toward accomplishing that goal. Dwight Banks, congratulations on the win. Thank you, Curtis. That's Dwight. He's the winning driver. Back up to Carl Becker.